Hi, thanks for joining me today in review number 7. Today we're going to have a look at the Boris V2 coming from Upgate. This was sent, must have been about 4 weeks ago, so I've been using it to get an idea of how it is. Had a few different builds in it to see how it weighed up. So with it, we'll dive down and we'll have a look and see what else comes with it. Included with the Boris V2 RTA, you get the tank, a spare 4mm glass section, 2mm glass section, which I think it came with installed, and another 4mm glass section, Allen key, and your spare o rings, 510 drip tip adapter. And then a couple of wee grub screws. So I've been using this for a number of weeks now. I've had a few different builds in it. At the minute I still have a couple of coils in it. So what we're going to do is work it up, have a vape on it, and see how it goes. This is for ca catching excess juice. And there's your deck for building on. your juice wells in either corner and then our openings for the juice to get in so on the inside of the tank you'll see that it has wee grooves one on either side this is for the placement of the tank to make sure it stays in place and what you do you just line them up as it sits flush and the wee drip tray goes on over the bottom of it and as you can see 7739 designed by Ugvape so we'll put a wee build into it get a vape on it see how it goes So we'll put a nice work into it, get it juiced up and have another vape on it. As I've said before, I've already been using it for a number of weeks. With different builds in it, different juice, just to get a feel for it. just fluff it out helps free the juice by freeing it up just to make sure that it's not knotted up everybody has their own way of doing the works this is how I do mine I don't get dry hits
so because I already know we're using it for a while all I'm doing is coming down to the end of the deck just at this part should be in that will be nice bow ties like so and then again because you've cut it close off the ends so again just freeing it up trim off before we tuck it down inside the juice welds and all I'm doing is running it up the side of the, the deck sitting flush to it cutting it a bit of an angle too much of a work and the juice will not flow properly you will get dry hits and then just trim it to the top so should be looking something like that Tucking the wee bits down inside the wee juice well. Again, we're not jamming it down, just nice and free so that it's sitting loosely because if you have it packed too tight, the juice won't flow. So basically, just lifting it up and setting it down inside so that it's nice and free. So you can see it's down sitting at the bottom of it. And that's the way I have it looking at the minute before I juice it up. Then we'll get some lovely AVB Smurfs blood. to make sure that the, the work is nice and saturated again it'll stop any dry burns as you can see I'm putting a wee drop into the actual juice well down here at the opening helps the juice flow up into it So as you can see it's all nice and saturated, plenty of juice on them. So don't see any weight, so it should be enough. Then take this bit off, the bottom deck part.
and you'll see here they say to have a wee groove and this is the part that fits into that wee bit it sticks out here on the inside same on the other side you have like wee prongs sticking up As you can see, just sitting up a wee bit proud, more than being flush. If you have a look through the air hole, you'll see the cord itself. Same on the other side, so the air is coming in and catching the bottom of it and travelling up. So we're going to fill through the top. You also see a wee bit of knurling on it, same on this bit. So if you're holding this bit, it makes it easier for unscrewing the top cap. I also notice the knurling on the drip tip itself. And then big, big juice wheels for filling her up. leaving a small wee gap at the top of it and that's to create the airtight vacuum and then holding it up nice and tight when I first got it with an Ireland drip tip wasn't that impressed with it thinking that I wouldn't like it but from I've got it I've grown to like it an awful lot haven't took it out once haven't even tried another drip tip check one that I have sitting here this is the U10 fitting for the, the likes of the Kennedy gown the bottle cap Back to an early one. Trying to throw two stop. Ready to vape on. You can see the air bubbles can help just with the juice getting taken in. So take it back up top, put it on a device, and we'll see hard vapes. With those set of coils that I have in them, they're reading 0 0.30. Can't don't know where you can see it or not. 0 0.30, and I have it sitting at 60 watts. That's firing at 4.25 volts. Plenty of vapor thing hasn't let me down and I've been using this steady because I have been impressed with it from I've got it I've kept it in the car and I use it every day driving to work once I had five days a week sometimes seven days a week but five days a week and that would do me if I get into the car it never leaves my hand until I get into work which is 20 minutes to a half an hour usually the four mils is gone that's because of my heavy vapour. If 
flavour from it is unreal. That could be to do with the reduced chamber inside it. We haven't got it coming through the posts where it's more concealed up. The inner chamber part on the inside of it is more of a, a tighter fit so it is. So sitting closer around it and it has less distance to travel so it's giving you more flavour. As you can see, doesn't lack with the, the vapour. Beautiful with flavour. Have to say, this is went into my top three, so it has. So it's one of them ones where, if you broke it, would you replace it? Yes, I would. It's that good. Yes, so we'll go ahead and replace it. As you can see, no dry hits, plenty of vapour, loads of flavour. I'm well impressed with it, so I am. Never actually had the Boris V1, but very impressed with the Boris V2. And that's my battery's going dead. So, thanks for watching. Please remember, if you liked the video, hit the wee like. And please remember to subscribe to King's Vape Reviews. And also, if you'd be so kind, the approved vapors reviews. Thanks very much for watching. Until the next time, thanks. Bye.